Hello everybody, my name is Idiotic Synergy and today we're talking about the new Legion Tank Commanders, which are quite nice. I like both of these models, I think they're both solid. However, they are both resin, but I'm going to say it now, I don't think that matters if I'm being honest, because yes it's resin, but they're on a plastic base and you just put them on top as like gunners on top of your tanks. And they look rather smart. I do like I do like these models. I particularly like this guy here. I think he's my favourite one out of the two, just because he tells a story with the sculpt. And this is coming from someone that hates Imperial Fists. I think this model looks quite smart. Uh, I, in fact, I want to know if it's possible to try and kitbash him so that he could be like a regular captain, because he would look like an amazing captain. Honestly, I, I would try and kitbash him as a captain, but he is resin. In fact, they're both resin, as I've already stated. But I do like the head. The head option's really smart. Uh, I like this. I like the um, sort of uh, augments he has. I was trying to figure out the word. Uh, I also like the fact that he's lost an arm, but that hasn't stopped him. And you know what they say, like father, like son. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Uh, just I don't like Imperial Fist, but I really like this model. This model's really cool. Also, look at the Mark II helmet. I want there to be Plastic Mark II because I really like Plastic Mark II. I want Plastic Mark II. I need Mark II. I mean, Mark II is my second, no, third favorite armor because my first favorite armor is Mark III. Then it goes. Cataphracty Terminators, and then Mark, and then Mark Two. I think the Mark Two helmet looks quite n s smart, and I'm trying not to stutter. My apologies. It's really bad today, and yeah, this is a solid model, really nice, and I can understand why people would like this. Hell, I like it, and I hate Imperial Fists. Then we move on to to the um, Sons of Horus. Um, tank commander and I I also like it. I think I like him with the helmet on more than, you know, this because I don't know, it's not as impressive as, as impressive as the other head option, but maybe that's just me. I also like the fact he's carrying a flag with him. That's kind of cool. Um I right, I do hope though that the weapons are changeable. Because otherwise it's a bit weird if you can't change the weapons. Though, if they're modelled with those weapons, then... Yeah, I, I kind of want them to change the weapons. Because I think both weapons are really cool. And I do I do like this one. Though it isn't my favourite one. Though the flag is quite nice. And is there something coming out from... What is that? Is sleeve? That's not a sleeve. But it does look like there's something there. Like... In between his arm and the pole, there is something there. Like, or, you know, like there. I don't know what that is. But it looks quite cool. Um, and, yeah, they're both really nice. And, of course, there's rules. Oh, my God. Um, there is a rule, but that's a lot. Right, I'm going to attempt to read it. So, my apologies if I mess up. So, this, um, so, point defense. This advanced reaction may be made whenever an enemy unit declares a charge or shooting attack, targeting a unit that includes a model that is eligible to make a point defense advanced reaction. The reacting unit may make a shooting attack with any defensive weapon that is, that are not turret mounted and any pinnacle mounted weapons, or pintle mounted weapons. Targeting the enemy unit that triggers this reaction and following all the usual rules for shooting attacks, except that all pintle mounted weapons may make twice the, n the normal number of attacks. Sorry, I'm going mental here. I have no idea what I'm reading, but it seems like you can... It's like an Overwatch, but you just shoot with pintle weapons, uh, which is quite nice. Um... Yeah, that's really that's really confusing. Um, yeah, there's um, template weapons that you can use as well. Yeah, it, that seems quite nice. 
And there's also this rule where, where oh my god, it's, I don't understand these rules. I haven't played Horus Heresy, though I really need to get into it. Uh, I've got a mate who's really into Horus Heresy, and maybe I can get a game off him. I need to learn how to play Horus Heresy anyway. Uh, I say need. I want to learn. Anyway, uh, did t oh, I can't pronounce these words. When a model with this special rule makes a shooting attack, one defensive weapon or pintle mounted weapon may make attacks targeting a different target to any other weapon that the, the model attacks with. Okay, this should be resolved as a sh separate shooting attack. Okay, that's that's quite nice. I like that. So basically you can fire against enemies and target different people and I mean, you can fire against enemies anyway, but this is like an Overwatch, but you just shoot normally. Though I could be dead wrong on that. It's it's cool, uh, but the main focus was these um, tank commanders. And yeah, I think they're solid. This one is my favourite. So, I've been Idiotic Synergy, and I'll see you later. Take care, stay safe, and if you are going to buy these, I would see how much they are, how much these are before you pay uh, before you buy them however i do like this guy and i just wish though he came with legs because he would look like an awesome captain anyway i'll see you later